Hello, my name is Matt Max. In today's episode, we are going to get our sheet material out and we are going to drill all the holes that we need for our Mendel 90 into our sheet material. And to do that right, we are going to use the drill guides that are provided with the Mendel 90. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we can start to actually drill all the holes into our sheet material, we first need the drill guides. Now, if you have successfully ran the Make Machine PY script from the last video, you are going to have a My Mandel folder. Inside this My Mandel folder, you have a folder called Sheets. And inside here, you have PDF files. Those are the drill guides. If you open them up, you get the drill guides like this. And then you can just go to Print, and you click on Poster, and make sure that this is set right here. All right, those cut marks are set. And then you just Print them out and we're ready to go. So for this episode, you are going to need your drilling guides that we just printed out. You're going to need a sharp knife. You're going to need all the sheets pre-cut. And obviously you're going to need wooden drills, but you can also use metal drills if you use wood. It works as well. So if you printed the drilling guides out, you get a lot of pieces of paper. Now, if you actually included cut marks, you get those little marks right here. Those marks are cut marks. And the way this works is if you would make sure that both this and this cut mark would perfectly overlap, then both of your pieces of paper overlap perfectly. So this would be the way it's supposed to be. However, I found out it's way easier to completely ignore the cut marks and just use those lines instead. If the pieces of wood are as big as they are supposed to be, you can just use those lines right here instead of the cut marks to make sure that your drilling guides are correctly aligned to make sure that you drill in all the right places. So the easiest way to do this is to just go ahead and cut all those pieces of uh, paper along those lines and try to be exact about it. All the parts in the Mandel 90 have a little bit of leeway, about a millimeter maybe. But why not do it perfectly right away? Well, not like this. All right. If I'm not cutting that good right now, it's because I'm looking at the camera while doing it. <laughs> okay, so another trick is you can angle the knife inwards, that helps. There we go. You also see that the corners are rounded. Again, you can change this in the config file. Um, but this actually helps you when it, you're going to use the sights, or when you're going to draw the sights. So. For all the time, all you need to do is to just cut along those lines. And we are going to cut away the cut marks, but we don't need them. If your wooden pieces if your wooden pieces are exactly the right size, that is. Wow, what's going on with my knife? It's pretty difficult to cut from one half meter away, I have to say. <laughs> yeah. So now you're basically just going ahead and you will repeat this step with all the lines. So pause the video right now, cut all those drill guides for the base of your printer. We are going to start with the base of your printer along all those thick black lines and then resume the video. So now that we cut all of the pieces of paper out, we have to puzzle it all together. Like with every puzzle, we're going to start with the edges. You can still see the edges right there. They still have those rounded corners. And then you're just going to use the numbers and basically the edge marks to find out which piece of paper belongs where. You can obviously mark them before you cut the edges off, but you don't really need to. It's uh, actually pretty simple to find out which piece of paper belongs where. For the middle pieces, um, what helps you is that very often one of the drill holes will be cut in half. So it will be the um, 
the point will be equally on both pieces of paper and you can use that to figure out which paper belongs where. Yeah, like right there, you see that there's part of the drill point right there. Cool, so what we are going to do right now is to just align the, those edge parts as perfectly as we can with the long and the short side uh, with the underlying piece of wood. That's not that important with the base plate, but it's really important with the gentry because the gentry holds these z-axis and if your drill guides are not perfectly aligned then your z-axis will not be vertical and that would suck but you also don't have to go for sub-millimeter precision here because all the parts are printed in a way that you have a little bit of leeway so now we actually have to use the drill guides for the middle pieces you still see one drill guide there so what we're going to do is we're going to use one piece of wood And we'll make sure that the short side of this wood is aligned with the long side of the paper, or with one of the sides of the paper. And then we make sure that the long side of the sheet is exactly at the cut mark. And here's a neat little trick, you can just use the other side of a knife, like this. And this helps it to get a really crisp and nice uh, fold, right? You can then just fold it the other way really easily. And now you can just use the cut mark right here. You see there's only one little line remaining. And you can use that and the drill point to align those middle pieces perfectly. All right, so again, we are going to use the bottom part of the sheet and we're going to use this drill point and we're going to use the cut mark to align those middle pieces perfectly. Although this piece in particular only really has the uh, Y motor holder, so it's not that important actually. <laughs> so we just make sure it stays in place with some pieces of tape. The middle parts are always the most difficult to fit, but they are also the least important to get right. It's really important that all the parts, parts at the edges fit as perfectly as possible. The middle parts are actually not as important. And that's actually basically already it. That's the way how you do it. Use those drill points to make sure that they are aligned perfectly. When you drill, start with the small drill points first, because when you drill the big holes, it will just rip the paper completely apart and then there won't be any paper left to drill the small holes. As for how far you should drill, drill all the way through. There are some holes that have to be drilled all the way through, so just drill all the holes all the way through. Like there are no holes where it would be a problem if you drill all the way through. One last thing, for the side parts, there are two side parts, you should actually mark them left and right because the drill guides are printed out for the outer side. Okay, so you have to put the drill guides on the outer side of the side parts. So make sure to mark them L and R for left and right. And that's how you use the drill guides on Undermantle 90. My name is B Mad Max, thanks for watching this video and tune in next time.